Brian, thanks very much for joining us. Student housing, often seen as a resilient asset class. Um, I suppose, how was 2020 um, for you there at Roundhill and, and, and what are the prospects for 2021? Well, it's certainly been a funny old year, Richard, hasn't it? So uh, the, the sector has, I guess, remained resilient through the pandemic, but it's, it's not true to say it has been completely unaffected. And it's, uh, it's been a different picture across Europe where we operate. So in the UK, there was a, there was a preponderance of, for some of the domestic students to return to the family home. And then there was some, uh, some demand for rent refunds for students who were uh, then locked down and arguably had difficulty uh, accessing their accommodation. So, so that caused uh, people operating within the sector to uh, spend a long time focusing in on their existing portfolios, their existing cash flows, and the, the, the rental income, how assets were being operated. But of course, you couldn't turn off completely to the students who were in residence. So all of the residences remained open. And because of the reasonably high fixed cost base in purpose-built student accommodation, that meant it's not like if 20, 30, 40% of your residents return home, you can reduce 20, 30, 40% of your cost base. That's not the case. So it was operationally a very intensive period. And in 15 years in the sector, probably the most intense period I've experienced as we had to rethink everything that we did in the sector to make them make the, the residences safe for people to live in uh, and for our staff to operate as well. So that element of it, what are you doing around touch points? What are you doing around hygiene? What are you doing around social distancing? How are you protecting your staff? Um, what do you do if there's, a, there's a, a, a case of COVID in your residence? What if it's one of the staff spitting it away in B-shift so that if somebody catches COVID, it's not necessarily going to transfer to the um, to the B shift, and your residents have to close down. So, so much going on from an investment perspective. I think investors and banks have have seen through the issue and see it very much as a PNL issue and a short term uh, cash flow issue for the for the assets. And the underlying investments have remained pretty resilient. So, so overall, um, it's been a tumultuous year. There's been an effect, in cash, an effect on cash flows, which has affected banks and investors. But most banks, most investors are, are well equipped to weather this storm and are looking forward to brighter times ahead. Um, and Brian, what's your sense in terms of um, those brighter times ahead? Um, do, you, do you expect that sort of beginning to normalise, you know, on the assumption that, that the vaccination programme works and those kinds of things? Do you see that beginning to normalise as early as, as autumn 2021? Yeah, in, in general, bookings for autumn 2021 across the board are holding up pretty strongly. So if I look at the year over year, like for like uh, lettings across the portfolio, we're seeing it broadly in line with, uh, with a stable, a, a more normal, more stable year. The exception to that, of course, is international traveling students. And whilst we are seeing a significant number of internationals applying to university across Europe, um, whether they can ultimately take up those places face to face in autumn it remains to be seen. And that will be a factor of how rapid the vaccine rollouts happen not just in the in the UK and the European destination countries, but also around the world in the in the countries from which students are traveling, if that makes sense. So keeping a very watchful eye on government policy, on vaccination rollouts, on preponderance of uh, of virus transmitting in uh, in um, source countries as well as destination countries, and uh, and government's university strategy as well, of course. So I think I think it's fair to say that the bookings that we are experiencing to date. Um, are more focused on domestic students than and, and nationally mobile students rather than internationally mobile students. But that's not a huge surprise because the international students tend to apply later in the cycle anyway. So, so right now, uh, from what we know today, we feel reasonably reasonable conviction around strong occupancy for September 2021. Um, so that's kind of, you know, fingers crossed, uh, we'll, we'll continue in that way. Great. Really interesting to catch up. Thanks very much for joining us, Brian. You're welcome.